How to dodge torpedoes, a World of Warships video by Dangerously Incompetent. I'm commanding the Farragut, USA's Tier 6 destroyer. On the trap chart, it's a Tier 8 battle, which is going to make things interesting, as there's loads of, loads of destroyers and two carriers, so the air will be full of planes, which will make staying unspotted interesting. So I'm bound to be dodging well shots and probably torpedoes at some point given the, the numbers of torpedo bearing ships in this battle. Not to mention the torpedo bombers. So there are lots of hints and tips and tricks to dodging torpedoes. But the main one, the biggest one, the most important one is sail a short, prow to stern, length, short ship that turns fast and accelerates and decelerates fast. That's the biggest t trick to dodging torpedoes. A ship, in fact, just like an American destroyer. Look at this short, it's teeny, teeny tiny thing and it accelerates no nobody's business. And it turns real quick as well, turns on the sixpence. So that's my main, that's, that's the biggest tip to dodging torpedoes. And I should give you, I've got at least a couple of examples of dodging torpedoes rather than preemptive torpedo avoidance in this battle. So the torpedo bombers are definitely taking an interest in me. You can tell them their way, they're twisting and turning. He's trying to line up for a torpedo drop. There we go. Are they, uh, yep, they're splitting up to try and do the 90 degrees thing. I'm wiggling around, use the island a bit. And oh, here comes the first set. A relatively easy dodge. They're heading mostly towards me. I saw them coming. Plenty of time to turn. And here's another, here's another one of the little pro tips. When you've got torpedoes coming at you, don't run aground. But here, acceleration. And then I could turn. Now, if I was in a longer ship, that my stern would have connected with that torpedo as I turned around. So, good acceleration, good turning, short length. That's how you dodge torpedoes. And this turns out to be quite a good battle for me. As you can see from the stats that I put in the... Uh, description, the text below. Enemy force detected. So let's watch the rest of it. And there's another example, at least one more example of dodging torpedoes. I am really quite liking the American destroyer line. I first went up the Japanese destroyers, which are concealment and long torpedo range, and it was heavy going. Then the Russians came out, and I thought, aha! Soviet destroyers, they're bound to be overpowered, aren't they? Right, let's go up them. And I've gone up them, and they're quite fun. They've got guns, they can go fast, but they're quite long. They can have incredibly long and big and easy to spot. And it turns so very, very slowly. So dodging torpedoes in a Kiev is difficult. <laughs> Fraught with pain and misery and people ranting at you in chat calling you noobs and such uh, so such like and so forth. The thing to remember when people do that is they're sailing around in the ideal ship to dodge torpedoes, an like American destroyer, whereas you're in a long, slow turning thing, which makes it very difficult. So ignore the the whiners and the critics. I wish, I, I wish I'd done the American destroyers first. Then I'd have the, have the American destroyers in rank battle, which are much better than the Russian, the Soviet ones. Because these things, they don't have great torpedo range. I mean, this thing has got its torpedo range is less than my view range. So any torpedo launch, the enemies are going to see see me coming, see me be able to see me launch the torpedoes. 
Unless I manage to use an island to my advantage, or maybe smoke. Fans out with smoke, of course, is they know there's a destroyer there. So they may well take up their preemptive torpedo avoidance maneuvers. But guns wise, these are great. The guns turn fast, they fire fast. Really fast, like three times the Japanese speed most of the time. And you just go bang, 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 bang. Which is great when you're in a knife fight. We the other torpedo at the other destroyers. Who you just found this for despite them being sneakier, the the, the concealment range is like a kilometre, two kilometres more. You just keep on and when you're spotted you just keep on going and before they can turn around, you've got within detection range and you've seen them and their advantage is gone and you start shooting them and playing knifey knifey or possibly knifey torpedoey. And that's that Mitsuki. Oh, what are those torpedoes bombers do? Now oh, they're they coming for me? No, they're going away. They're running away after torpedoing our hipper. Anyway, let's see if we can get our torpedoes into Mitsuki Gromi. Has he avo avoided them? Has he dodged them? Ooh, not quite. And my preemptive torpedo avoidance maneuvers have paid off. His torpedoes are sailing away. Nothing to worry about. Well, apart from the guns from the torpedoes. And that Hatsuharu. He's concentrating on our oh, Hatsuharu who is stationary or going backwards. Oh dear. But ooh, hey, has, um, has he got another set for me? Another set of torpedoes. Probably. Let's try that. There it is. Uh, yep. Ray turned just in time. Hope that I was heading towards where his torpedoes came from. There's my poor torpedo launch, but it's good enough. And it's goodbye Hatsuharu. Thank you very much. Oh, and another set. Torpedo bombers, yay! But I can just turn, turn, you turn, 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 you turn. It wasn't a great launch, I was turning already. But you can see how far you can turn in this thing in the time it takes a torpedo bomber launch to get to you. Yeah, so I'm really enjoying them. And if you're thinking about destroyers, I'd go up the American destroyer line first. And much better than the other ones. The Japanese and the, the Soviet. The Japanese have the concealment and the long torpedoes, but long torpedoes, you have to hope for a long battle. Because you've got a long reload on those Japanese torps. Okay, they go miles and miles, can like loads of kilometers can go half some of them go half the length of the map. But actually hitting someone at that sort of range is ludicrously even if they're not doing preemptive evasive maneuvers, they're almost certain to turn and change direction, so your torpedoes are going anyway. Your best bet is just to fire them through highly populated areas. But your concealment isn't You've got concealment advantage, but it's not much an advantage because you just get charged down as soon as you. T as soon as someone knows they're detected, they just keep going forwards, and before you can turn away and run off and stay unconcealed, they've spotted you, and then they yeah, you're in a gunfight and you're in pain. And the Russian destroyers, they're fast, but they're big, and they turn slowly, so dodging and knife fighting ain't great. But you can do things like outrun boost airborne torpedoes, like the, the carrier's torpedoes with the Kiev. It goes so fast, you can actually outrun them. I've done it before. <laughs> it's hilarious. The carrier, the carrier captain must be pulling his hair out in misery. And since I gave up on the rank battles because while I was having difficulties, and this weekend's been Grand Naval Battles, a Grand Naval Battle mission 
but they haven't announced it on the website. Okay. I think it's a leftover from when they had Grand Naval Battles and then cancelled them. They just put this in on a timer and it's come. And you get, all you have to do is score 10 ribbons. Well, I think I've done that. And then your commander gets three times XP. So yesterday I went through the Nicholas, the USA's tier 5 destroyer. I completed it in a day and by the time I completed it my captain had gone from no skills, well one skill for 10,000 credits, to having a tier 4 skill. The extra burnination! <laughs> Which is great! And so now that captain's in this, this ship, a couple of good battles and he was retrained. Marvellous! So I'm enjoying playing these things. Um, they're much easier to play. <laughs> much more enjoyable to play than the Japanese and the Russians. So I expect by the time next time next season of ranked battles turns up, I'll have a tier 7 American destroyer. Just in time for them to change the what tier cheer ships you can take into ranked battles again. So this is what you spend most of your time doing, American Destroyer sitting in smoke firing your guns. Never stay still in your smoke. You keep on firing from the same spot. Even the, the dumbest of opponents will realise that sooner or later and then just fire up where you fired from and you'll get shot even even though you've never been detected. But. So rock forwards and backwards. But it's real tricky sometimes to know where the smoke is. You can't see it. My own smoke and I can't see where it is. So have I backed out the end? Or I've gone not gone far enough forwards? Uh, yeah, I've reversed out of it. So you've got to keep a track in your head. Rock forwards, rock backwards. Have I gone forwards far enough or too far? Which can be difficult when you're concentrating on trying to hit someone, correcting your aim, and so on, for, so on and so forth. Oh, the battle has swung the enemy's way. They've gone down one flank, and our carrier hasn't been fast enough to leave to escape. Didn't leave soon enough, and our destroy uh, cruisers and battleships have just gone forwards, 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 and haven't looked to the rear at all. So what should I do? Should I go and engage the turbots? Yeah, nope. I've just used my smoke. And getting close enough to torpedo him in open water means being seen and coming within range of his secondaries. So I don't think I'll be doing that. Seems much more healthy for me to go have a look at this Farragut. I was hoping that if that North Carolina was a bit slower going up along this island and I, or I was a bit faster there wasn't there planes everywhere making sure I was spotted I might have been able to jump out behind from behind the island and torpedo him but no such luck he's too far forward, I'm too far back and I'm too spotted Engine boost deactivated. let's have a go at this Farragut weight of fire will mean he'll be una unable to dodge all of them and sooner or later someone will get him Wasn't me, it was a big boy. 
Uh, North Carolina. Uh, too far away for the torpedoes. They'll just keep on sailing and get away. So I'll sit behind the island. Oh, no, nope, not quite. Oh, there's planes. If we just sit behind... Oh, forget about sitting behind the island. There's planes. Drop the smoke. And let's just shell him to death now, shall we? I suppose I could have gone and chased him. Because he ran aground. He's now moving back. Whoops. No moving backwards. It would be easy to shoot him, uh, torpedo him, but I would totally be be within range of his secondaries. And he's no, he knows I'm coming, so he'd be shooting at me with his primaries as well. But no need. I just rock backwards and forwards in my smoke and shell him and burn the nation to death. Time, Mr. North Carolina. That's going to do my XP total no harm at all. So close and so slow, can hardly, can hardly miss. Yes, I think you can stop firing now. He's dead. So after all that. The enemy are uh, winning. Well, we're ahead slightly on points, but they've got the numbers. Oh, no, detection. How can he detect me? He's eight kilometres away. I haven't fired or anything. Oh, it's radar. American cruiser, and you can see the little pingy radar symbol next to the detected. He's using his radar, the swine. I'm desperately trying to stay alive so our two cap circle to one can get us the win. Can it, can it, can it, can it, can it? Don't hit me, don't see me. Yes, it does. Hooray, we win.